Hey guys, I'm back with another breakdown. Going to look at what I call Hydra Factor now. Uh, this team is comprised of Zemo, Red Skull, Hydra Grenadier, and then the two X Factor guys. And it just wrecks shit. So check this out. Uh, this is in Reactor, and I do have Hangar, so I have the Deflects on Spawn. They do not, they are not boosted. Uh, this is our off war, so I was just trying some fun stuff, and of course the enemy realizes that when they're up by like 800 points in the first couple hours that uh, they probably don't need to boost anymore, so we tend to not see too many towards the end of these fights, but uh, it's still a great time to train, to try things, try pushing the boundaries and seeing what can be done. So with this team, uh, it is pretty amazing. So right off the bat, Zemo is going to go and remove a bunch of buffs. He generally removes the taunt from Stripe, but it's not 100%. If he does, I always uh, ability block Emma. Otherwise, um, you can just go and do his special into Strife and then keep on running. So I try to put the defense down on Strife just to get him lower. Unfortunately, he had the deflect, so he did block it and prevent the uh, application. Um, I go opt for clearing the deflects and hitting everybody with those bleeds. Uh, remember, those bleeds are going to work so because Emma's not going to be able to cleanse them on her first turn due to the ability block. So we just keep whacking away at these guys. And you can see all this AoE damage, all these crits it's great uh even the little minions from uh red skull can actually crit too um i also have raider on my hydra grenadier so he is splash damaging several characters and he can you know crit on those to give the x factor guys more crit, uh more crits and so they get more turn meter and you can see here it is just going like to town and look at those hits um go for the basic when you're trying to focus fire down one character right before they get a heal from somebody's ISO passive and uh, yeah and we just look at like the field here who can we kill and I think well there's a uh, there's a naked Emma, right? She has no protection. She has no defense up. Uh, she's not even in diamond form yet, so she's not very resistant. So that means I can put the defense down on her from Red Skull's basic. And, you know, you can just see here, this is this is going to wipe out Emma here in just a sec. And this is like, uh, I don't know, a pretty good punch up here. So, um, yeah, there it goes. Crit, crit, crit. Bam. Die, Emma. And then I actually, <laughs> look at this. It's a it's a good sized uh, T15 uh, Sinister. So this uh, little minion dude is actually pretty beefy. And then he gets healed into full by Sinister Special. So no matter. Uh, we can still take him out. So uh, I, I switch here and uh, just opt to go for Sabretooth since he seems pretty weak and vulnerable. Uh, they have Healer Eyes so on Sabretooth, which I thought was weird. Um, he doesn't get a whole lot of turns so it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but he does a lot of attacks with his passive, especially in war. Um, so it's like, why would you do that? You know, put Skirmisher on him uh, so he does, you know, more damage or Raider if you want him to crit maybe on some of those uh, assist hits, but whatever. Anyways, you just keep whacking away at these dudes uh, and just destroy the Sinister uh, here in a sec. So, uh, oh, the defense down went away. So, yeah, still 211k hit, hit with a crit uh, on... Long shots alt is crazy good. He is six red, six gold, so he is pretty strong. But the uh, Shatter Star and Longshot are only tier 12. Um, they have all tier fours on both of them. Uh, I really love this team. The uh, the X Factor guys can slot in with just about any trio and be amazing. So uh, I've gone all in on them, and I can't wait for more X Factor characters because I think they're going to be super meta soon. But we'll see uh, what what comes in the next couple of patches. So here we're just cleaning up. It seems pretty pretty easy. Uh, we've definitely got the the upper hand the whole way through that fight. Uh, we were never really in any danger of losing anyone <laughs> except for Zemo there. Uh, but really, after his first turn, he's not that important. And honestly, he's a slight liability after turn one because Sinister can clone him. And if Sinister does clone him, he does he does get annoying because of what damage he can do and what he what he ends up. Uh, doing to your team with his passive uh, on spawn and then also the ability block and slows could be a problem uh, you know 
just something to think about. But still, no big deal. Um, Zebo is tier 14. The rest of them are all tier 12s. Uh, but they were able to punch up here, what is this, 160k or so on Marauders in Reactor. Reactor doesn't really matter for this team because they're so fast. They they just drop the Disrupt. And they aren't reliant on buffing each other uh, with, with specific buffs, right? We're just looking for crits to get more turn meter for the X Factor guys and keep the uh, fight rolling. So... Very, very good uh, setup for this team. They just destroy Marauders, which is pretty awesome. So if you need another Marauder killer, and you got these guys laying around, it's not a bad idea to combine them all. Um, you know, if you need to put uh, Red Skull and Grenadier on another team or something, or at least Red Skull, uh, I think you could slot in another uh, Hydra guy. Um, Maybe somebody like uh, Sniper would give some, you know, offense up, and uh, he could work if you got good reds on him. Um, you know, that that could work. Or if you want to try for more crits, uh, somebody like uh, Rifle Trooper might work, uh, just because he's going to hit everybody with his AOE, and if you put Raider on him, he has a good chance of critting at least once on those and giving more turn meter to the X Factor guys so they can keep rolling. Um, another one that would work is Winter Soldier. He has a passive crit bonus on his uh, passive, which is 15 to 20% uh, crit damage, depending on, or crit chance, depending on if you have it tier forward and that will go to Zemo and Grenadier who are both Hydra so that's nice because it helps them crit it'll help Zemo crit on his ult right off the bat and get that extra turn meter going for the uh, x-factor guys so just some things to think about but this team works really well for me I feel pretty confident in this and now that we're just consolidating so many teams on war defense and offense uh this to me makes a lot of sense so i got a couple more of these coming as far as videos go so be on the lookout for those uh but this is a fun team it just wrecks i i really wish i'd punched up higher uh <laughs> so we'll see i'll have to uh i'll have to look at um trying maybe 200 plus k next time and see how that goes uh we'll, we'll just have to see what pops up next for but anyway, uh, great team. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you later.